Hi, this is Dr. Martin Bexman. Welcome to my overrated, underrated show. Today, a very strange topic maybe for you. Uh, overrated or underrated, I'm talking about reading research papers. When I'm traveling around the world as a speaker and I speak to people attending to my course and I ask them, what was the last research paper that you read? And they say something like, oh, uh, oh, or oh, maybe they remember um, the, the headline something or even maybe a little bit of the abstracts. And, uh, and when I ask them, okay, yeah, you, you read that paper. Yeah, what about um, the clinical implications? Um, what about the, the, the methods used? How many patients were involved in that study? for example, what's the significance, and so on. And they say, oh, um, yeah, I don't know, but I heard it, it was a good study. We all should be able to use research papers to improve our clinical decisions. It's not only made for scientific people working in the university setting, it's for everyone. Everyone should be on top uh, of the news of research and what's going on there. So. Research paper reading is highly underrated.